Welcome back. Railway extraction tier list for you boys who are free to play. That means if you have the paid battle pass, too bad. We're not talking about you guys. We're going to be considering the people who have the free battle pass and all the egos there at up tier 3. Let's just jump right into it. Sinclair, easy C tier. Gregor, easy B. Otis, also B tier. Mersal, B tier. Rodion, also B tier. Faust, also B tier. Heathcliff, C tier. Onglu, C tier. Ishmael, D tier. Ryoshu, also D tier. Don Quixote, F tier if I could. Yi Sang, also D tier. Gregor, C tier. Otis, Easy A. Ishmael, Easy S. Ishmael, Easy A. Rodion, also A. Faust, A tier. Heathcliff, Easy A. Yi Sang, D tier. Faust, Easy A. Otis, D tier. Mexican Sinclair, also D. Rodion, B tier. Hong Lu, Easy A. Don Quixote, Easy C tier. Marsal, also C tier. Ryoshu, also D tier. Sinclair, D tier. Heathcliff, also D tier. Hong Lu, C tier. Otis, Easy S. Yi Sang, Easy B. Marsal, also B. Heathcliff, SS tier, Honglu, Easy S, Ishmael, B tier, Ryoshu, Easy A, Sinclair, B tier, Gregor, Easy A, Mersault, S tier, Faust, also S tier, Don Quixote, SS tier, Rodion, Easy B. So, D list, do not invest, do not use. These are the units that don't offer too much on your team composition. Ishmael, Ryoshu, Don Quixote, Yi Sang, base sinners that don't do enough damage, don't offer enough synergy, don't have an AoE ego. They're down here. Fragility units. These boys down here, these fragility units, they're here because fragility a little bit too niche to use. Otis, eh, same thing. Can do poise, can do damage, more damage at the enemy has 25% HP or less. Eh, not that good as a damage dealer. Mexican Sinclair. Very slow, doesn't do enough damage, coin flip sucks. Heathcliff. Does a ton of damage if he's at 25% HP or lower, but he keeps hurting himself. Very niche. <laughs> low potential because he can't heal himself. Sinclair. Base Sinclair. A little bit better. His ego. Impending day. If he kills an enemy after... He's used his impending day ego. He'll gain plus five resource of that ego's affinity. Very good for being able to generate resources. However, a little bit weaker. Heathcliff, very good for his ego. Body sack, a lot of enemies in here are weak to blunt. Very useful, but once again, outshadowed by other units. Hong Lu, AoE, very good. However, his AoE requires a ton of gloom. Not that good. All the burn egos down here because currently burn ain't that good and all these units have just better variants if you have access to them. I would even say that the base centers are better because these are just resources being funneled into units that you might not really use in the railway extraction. Burn doesn't do damage quick enough for you guys. You can clear the railway extraction with the burn units, a little bit too slow. Don Quixote can do a lot of damage but she's got to go fast. That's the only issue though, she's got to get fast. B tier. These are the units that require low investments or are pretty decent for you free to play players. So, these base sinners, why are they here? Gregor AoE, Otis AoE, Rodion AoE, Faust AoE. These three units have AoE egos because, well, they're free. AoE is very important in this game mode, that's why we're here. Mersault's also here because of his ego, his chain ego, very, very strong. Chaining enemies such as, for example, the wolf abnormality battle very useful lowering the wolf's attack and also speed makes it so that you're almost always guaranteed to win your clashes very very useful low investment great to use if you're free to play rodeon same thing rhyme shank aoe very very good this version of Yi Sing actually much better because battles last lost longer he can actually generate enough poise to be able to almost always crit mersault a little bit better with the changes to sanity and how passes work can put in work however still lackluster as a unit ishmael completely meme could be c tier could be b tier can do very well if you know how to use her sinclair doesn't do a lot of damage this one even though he has got bleed he does not do a lot of damage however impending day ego very useful rodeon this version kind of lackluster because a lot of enemies are immune to slash or very 
or resist slash damage and overall too much investment needed for not enough reward otis changes the sanity her ego or at least her coin flip can go up to like 22 with her skill 3 almost impossible to lose clashes if she's at max sanity also ebony stem very strong Ishmael, have you seen the video about this girl soloing Cromer? Very strong. She can self-heal herself at 25% HP or less, and she can do a ton of damage if she's at 50% HP or less. Very, very strong unit overall. Very good for this content. Very budget-friendly damage dealer. This Rodion, Rhymeshank, but not only that though, Blunt. A lot of enemies are weak to Blunt. Very strong. Faust, Representation Emitter, AoE, very decent damage. Very good. Heathcliff, same thing. Blunt and also power coin down, making it very similar to Mersault's chain but on a budget. Also, blunt damage, skill 3, tons of damage. This version of Faust, with the changes to how passes works, can be used. Definitely better than base Faust, however not strong enough damage to be as good as Encore Faust. Ong Lu, very very decent damage, however definitely outshadowed by the fact that a lot of enemies aren't really weak to slash. However. Honglu, Ryoshu, decent damage dealers, can't complain. Gregor, Ledgermind, very strong drain tank. Ledgermind, very, very useful and can generate the resources for his ego by himself. Ledgermind, very, very strong AoE skill. Ishmael, S tier, applying 5 fragile, making it so that enemies take 50% more damage, very strong. Even in content where it's very long, you want to be able to burst out unit so this can help you with that. Otis, complete clash monster. Almost never loses a clash and also has ebony stem. Very good AoE skill. Ong Lu, skill 2, very, very strong with how sanity works. Also, skill 3, mutilate. Very strong if you can get it to kill an enemy so you can use it twice. Good damage debuff, but definitely not great in killing bosses compared to the other units. And Corp, gross hammer, mersault. Very strong ego, throwing the enemies in the jail, very, very good. Also, decent damage and able to apply nails, strong for Encorp teams. Faust 2 Grips, overall super strong unit, tons of damage. Not only that though, AOB representation emitter, very strong. SS tier, Heathcliff, Don Quixote, by far the strongest units for their skill 3. Their skill 3 is the difference between clearing... A abnormality with either 4 turns or 11 turns. That's just how big their difference is. These guys, if given the right scenarios where the boss is, has debuffs on them as well as staggered, if they have both their skill 3s lined up, if you use both of them, these guys together can do upwards of 500 plus damage together. I've seen it happen, I've done it myself, just omega broken tier. With that being said though, I would say that with the units as a free to play player, if you don't have these crazy characters, I will say if you don't have Heathcliff and Don Quixote, you can sub it out for units such as G Corp, Otis, Ishmael, Rodion, Heathcliff, and also if we can, Base Gregor. The reason being is you want to be able to have units that have the potential to use AoE skills such as Otis. Rodion, Faust, and Gregor. But not only that though, you could slot in Mersault. Mersault being able to chain down an enemy boss is very, very useful. A lot of these units, ideally, you want to be able to have the most bang for your buck. What do I mean by that? It means you want to have the most return for the least amount of resources as a budget free to play player. Or not even budget though, just completely free to play without spending money on the ego passes. If you did spend money, I would definitely put Faust a lot higher because Faust's ego sack makes her definitely a much better contender compared to the rest of the crew. But we're not. This is free to play. However, with that being said though, let me guys know what you guys think about this tier list. Should there be units that are higher? Should there be units that are lower? Definitely there are characters that you guys might have found to be sleeper OP that I haven't considered. So let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think. Should there be characters that are super broken that are sleeper OP that I didn't cover? Or are there units that are too high that definitely could, should go lower? As usual, I stream on Twitch Monday to Friday and I have a Discord community where we talk about everything Limbus as well as other gacha games. As usual, my name is John Panny and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now. Oh,
Thank you.